Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you some very important tips on how to become a better tank, even without much experience. I think everyone should be able to play the tank role, especially when you are playing solo. As a good tank you can turn many even matches into your favor. It's really not that difficult to be good, if you follow the simple tips. So make sure to stay until the end of the video and leave a like and subscribe if this guide was helpful for you. Let's begin. Tip number 1. Provide vision. This is one of the most important things you can do, but many tank players are simply not doing it. You should open the map for your teammates. For example, instead of clearing the minion wave with your carry together, hide in a bush to give vision of the area. If the enemies are approaching, you can either ambush them and give your carry a good chance to kill them or give him enough time to retreat into safety. Same goes for you of course. You should also enter a bush first before your carry does. Like this it's much less likely that he is getting ambushed and just dies instantly. Once you start to do that, you can almost create a legal map hack for your teammates, since they know where the enemies are, while they don't know where you are. Tip number 2. Engage properly. First, since you are already staying in bushes to provide vision, use them also to engage. It will surprise the enemy and give your team a huge advantage in ganks. But before you engage, you should make sure that they are ready to fight and that you will be able to win this fight. If your teammates are not near enough or they just use their skills, don't engage. You can see if your teammates ultimates are ready by this little green icon on their images. If they are not ready, you don't even need to think to engage. It's also never a good idea to jump into a 2 vs 5 fight. This should be obvious, but apparently it's not for some players. Your super flicker trick across half of the map is also not a proper engage. Your teammates will not be able to follow that fast and before they arrive, you're already laying down in the dirt. Tip number 3. Pay attention to your surroundings. Another thing you should do before engaging, observe the map. If you can't see any enemies on it, they are maybe on the way to your lane. In this case, you should wait until you are sure where the enemies are. Or back out, so you are not risking to get ambushed while you are ambushing. Tip number 4. Be aware of what your teammates are capable of. This counts especially when you are playing with 4 random players. You should try to find out quickly how skilled your teammates are. In this game, our 1-1 one -one was quite inexperienced and she didn't know how to activate her ultimate regularly. By the way, I just released a guide for 1-1 last week, so if you also struggle to activate her ultimate or want to learn how to play her in general, you should check it out. I've tried to explain it to her, but either she didn't speak English or chose to ignore my advice. Anyway, I realized that I could count on the Ling and the Changi, so I could engage with a lot of confidence and they followed up really good. Next is number 5. Be one step ahead. Especially as a tank, you should think what your enemies might do next and be ready to counter it. I'm showing you one example. Here, the enemy Zelda tries to engage us. Maybe she was expecting that I don't have my second skill available, since many Tigreal players level up their first skill first. I saw her enter the bush, so I thought there might be a chance that she engages. Notice how I'm already aiming my second skill before she even came out of the bush. As she tries to engage, I could quickly push her into our tower and 1-1 could get the first blood. If you start to think like this, you can react much faster to situations and turn them into your favor. Number 6 is identify the threat. In this game, I realized pretty soon that the Saber and Zaz are the best players of the enemy team, so my priority became to focus them in any game. Usually, the enemy's carry is the biggest threat, so he should become your priority. But it could also happen that for example the enemy's fighter is the biggest threat because he's just godly. You should find out who is your target and keep them away from your carry. Number 7. Learn when to commit and when not. Just because you engaged and stunned the enemy successfully, it doesn't mean you have to fully commit now. You should still pay attention on what your team is doing. Maybe they missed their skills or you misjudged that they were ready to fight. In this case, just back out and wait for your next chance. If you always fully commit, you will just end up dying and start feeding the enemy. Number 8. Ping your allies. When you want to engage and you're not using voice chat or anything, you should ping your allies to attack, so they are aware of what you're going to do. After you ping them, don't engage directly. Count to 3 and then engage. When you are planning an ambush, ping your allies for support. If they are smart, they will understand what you are planning. If no one reacts to it, forget about it and move on. Also, when your allies ping you to retreat, do it. If they are not ready to fight because they don't feel farmed enough or whatever, it makes no sense to engage just because you are in a good position. Be patient and wait for your moments. Number 9. Secure objectives. Another very important thing what so many tank players don't do. When your allies are taking the turtle or the lord, you don't need to tank it for them. It's much better to secure the area to prevent the enemy from stealing their objective and ambush your team. Same goes when your teammate takes down a turret. Better stay in the bush to give vision to your teammate so you're not getting ambushed while taking it down. And the last tip is learn how to survive. 
As a tank, you don't need to die always. When your HP gets low, it's okay to retreat from the front line. I wouldn't run away completely, because when your carry is in big trouble, it's better to save him and give your life for him. The carry has to stay alive to farm enough so he can actually carry the gank. Sometimes you even get a second chance to engage and turn the gank into your favor. So don't just be a punching bag until you die. Make your life meaningful. I could end this video now on this beautiful quote, but since you stayed until here, I'm giving you 4 quick bonus tips only for you. If possible, let the carry get the kill. He will get more gold for the kill than just for the assist. If your team tower dives, tank it for them. While the tower attacks you, your team can kill the enemy who is hiding in it. If you miss, retreat. It makes no sense to fight when you just missed your skills. Retreat and wait for the next opportunity. And last, you should not use flicker to escape. It has a 2 minute cooldown and you might need it in that time to do an awesome engage. So it's almost always better to die and save it for engaging the enemy. I hope this guide was helpful for you. Which tip was the most important in your opinion? Or do you have an additional tip you would like to share? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.